This is Dave. He's getting ready for Sunday night football. Be like Dave. Oh. What up, what up The black cat is here at the star. We found it because we yesterday it. they said it was still on the loose. That why MetLife couldn't find the cat is that I we think actually it got on the plane. You tell us. Yeah, yeah was it on the plane with you, David? See, I didn't see it. I didn't Just see it. up there, <laughs> sitting under Antoine's seat. Uh, welcome. Welcome to Cover 4 Friday Edition. We know that you love it. I love sitting at the guitar pick. <laughs> what I don't love is the news that Amari Cooper oh, shared no. with us yesterday. Uh, so let's get this straight. What all has he hurt this year? So the plantar fasciitis in the heel, ankle, a foot, yep. knee, and now the knee. Don't forget about the quad contusion. Don't undersell it. Oh my gosh, you're yeah. right. So should you just say leg? Yeah. Like leg yeah. and lower general. half injury My for man two straight months. My man needs like, some time in the ice bath. Yes. That's all there is to it. So before we just go into what this means for Sunday, let's hear from Amari Cooper. Yesterday in the locker room, what he told us about the MRI. How, how much does it affect your ability in a game to be not less than 100%? It depends on how much less than 100% I am. Whatever you are now. <laughs> I don't know what I am now. I gotta practice. <laughs> Will you try to run full speed before the game or just kind of wait till Sunday to try to try to? <laughs> it all depends on how it feels. So, you know, if I can run full speed, then of course I'm gonna run full speed. If I can't, then I can't. Can you run full speed now? I, have, I haven't tried to run full speed. <laughs> We as reporters transcribe the interviews that all these guys give in the locker room. Amari probably answered 15 questions about his knee and like the whole transcript was maybe 60 words. Yeah. Which I, I don't blame him. I mean, <laughs> yeah. he hasn't practiced. Like everybody's trying to get him to say whether or not he's going to play. He's like, guys, I, I just got an MRI. I, I don't know. Yeah. Like, Lindsey just laid out all of his injuries throughout the season and there have been a plenty. So yes, he's getting frustrated with these questions, but he brought up a really good point in the locker room yesterday and he said that this isn't old ultimately his choice, that it's the trainers and the medical staff that make that choice for him. They tell him the severity of the injuries. If he's good to go, he will be good to go. Which I think we're burying the lead. At the top of all of this, he said it's a manageable problem. I do think he's going to play in this game. I don't know how close to 100% he'll be, but I think he'll play. So yesterday, Barry, I want to ask you how, how crazy, you know, now you're on this side, but listening <laughs> to the fans, so I was an, on another show reading through some fan questions yesterday, and a lot of them were, hey, do we re-sign Amari Cooper. Uh, that was like the first time I'd really seen that repeated over and over because of all of his injuries. To me, I think, how could you not? But like, what's a player perspective on um, that? I'm with you on that one. How could you not? I mean, this guy's electric and he's one of the top receivers, one of the top route runners in the game. And um, it's not like these injuries have slowed him down a lot. He's still producing at a high level. So I think you try everything you can to get Dak's number one weapon back on the boys. Even though, I mean, and you, you see, I guess, as a player, like you look at him, it's not like he's not dependable. He's mm -hmm. trying to play through all of these things as much as he can. And he's not causing any problems outside he's not you know he's not a distraction at all he's just a playmaker out there who's kind of hurt with a lot of soft tissue injuries right now but I think he'll be all right for it something. Happens. It Who happens. are these yeah. people that think a Pro Bowl receiver gritting through a bunch of injuries? A lot. Is a well, like I saw multiple suck. that was like do you think we should resign? Yes. I'm a little worried yeah. and I was shocked you know by that those question. People are? They're the people who are re rooting for Bama this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> They're bad people. I don't know why you had to bring that up. I mean well, I guess I asked wearing for a bright already. yellow shirt on <laughs> set. Let me do my let me move in silence. Hey. You, you do have some purple. Let me like, like, move in silence. Bama, dude. Let me move in silence, says the guy wearing a neon yellow. <laughs> Is that the only Bama player you're rooting for this weekend? Is Amari Cooper? Um, are there any other Bama players? Yeah, that's the only one. Okay. He's the only Bama player I like, period. I like Amari a lot. I never He's thought great. I'd say that about He's a Bama a cool guy. Dude. And to go back to my point, I can't fathom that somebody thinks he shouldn't be re-signed by the Cowboys. And yeah, uh, our producer Ben just reminded me, what about Rolando McClain? Hello. Love, oh, <laughs> oh, out. Love you forever, One buddy. of the best teams ben I've ever yeah. 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 Wait, really? He was awesome, man. Let's, he was awesome. We can save it for another time, but let's do story time with Barry about oh, yeah. Rolando for story sure. Yes. And I know we're going to wrap it up, but the only thing that I don't want to see is Amari kind of like the Jets game where he only played three snaps and then went out and then they have that 24-22 loss. Yeah. yeah. I think if he's good, go. If he's not, 
then let some of these other guys, Devin Smith, show some more production. Dave, you're gr not happy with that. No, I just I think he's going to play. That's all. I think he's going to play. I, he won't be 100%, but I think he's going to play. Before we get to the Chargers Raiders highlights quickly, let's mm. touch on the battle of the quarterbacks we're going to see this week. You've had a week to think yes. about this. Dak Prescott and, and Kirk Cousins. What do you think, Barry, as far as who you're taking out there? Oh, I'm taking Dak for sure, and I'll get into my meme and all that later. But, <laughs> yes. um, I'm meme thinking coming he's up. Gonna, mm. He's going to take control of this game. He's going to dominate from, uh, from play one. Um, I respect Kirk Cousins' game. Um, I was able to intercept him a couple times. So okay. I, I definitely Let's want to come out. Oh, yeah, up brought that. Oh yeah, happy to bring it up. But um, yeah, I think Dak, Dak will dominate this uh, this matchup. For sure. I went to the Vikings website to just kind of hear how they're talking about the game, how we get nervous, how Dave is nervous about LSU this weekend. The Vikings feel the same way about Kirk Cousins. They have no faith in him on primetime games. And granted, it's trauma probably for them. They said that once he gets going and he gets nervous, he gets two in his head, and that's where Dak Prescott is different than him. I think that Dak Prescott goes out and just plays lights out. I 100% agree. Like, I don't know how you quantify this. It's not a stat. So I'm going to sound like kind of like a hot take guy for a second. I don't care. <laughs> Dak Prescott's clutch and Kirk Cousins is not. Like I said, I don't have a number like, oh, when Kirk Cousins is down by three in the four, I don't have that stat, but I've watched Kirk Cousins. He was with Washington for years. Mm -hmm. He's played some great games yeah. against the Cowboys and does stuff like throw the ball right to you in the back of the end zone. Like, no hey. offense, but like a pretty routine <laughs> right interception. Chest. Yeah, right, right to the four It didn't seem real. You were like, what oh, is this? This is for me? He does, he does <laughs> stuff like gift? that. <laughs> I From think the clouds. at the end of the day, that's what I look at, is who comes through when the chips are down. I trust Dak to do that. Yes, that I don't trust Kirk to do that. Absolutely. Factor. I mean, when you can throw an interception on the first play of the game and somehow get that out of your head, like, that would bother me the whole game. Oh. Like, how did you I come right. out in prime time in front of the black cat and do that? Before the first half, I looked at Dave and I said, you're 40 points, Boldy, likely not going to happen. I got close. You got three Thanks to the defense. Away. I know. Yeah. And that was, at, yeah, that was after a pick on the first play. Thursday night football highlights. What do you say we get into them? This was a Any really good watch? game. I watched oh, yeah, it. Thank you. Great you. game. First of all, I love both of these uniforms. Yes. Very wow. My guy here. He could have had three picks. He Maybe dropped, even four. He oh, wait, is this your guy? Time. Eric Harris is an old friend of mine, and he has been in the serious? Canadian Football League. Yeah, oh. Canadian. Did you just say Canadian? Yeah, yeah Canadian Football it's League. Friday. And, and been around the block, and now he's finally getting his he's chance. And he is shining like none other. So is this the period? end of Philip Rivers, though? That's kind of the sad truth of this game to me, it's, is that it's beginning to look a lot like the end. I thought you were gonna say Christmas, but yeah, I mean, Beginning. I can't, I can't imagine Philip Rivers has a lot of time left. But also, shouts out the Raiders. They were pretty garbage last year. Yes. Nobody had a lot of faith that John Gruden was going to get this thing turned around. Their schedule over the second half shapes up pretty nice. They've had Just a hard first half. Laying in the cut, right wow. over 500. I think they have the Bengals next. I yes. mean, Thank come you. on, Ooh. let's go. I feel like the NFL is like more interesting when the Raiders are good. Yes, yes. you know, like, I love the when the NFL. Raiders are good. I honestly. The, I have a joke. I, I'm buddies with the guys on the writing staff at the Raiders. Like they are like the crazy relative of the AFC, and the Cowboys are like the crazy uncle. Like we're the create the two crazy teams. Yeah, just own it. It's better. Yeah, we do own it. I hope the Raiders are back. Philip Rivers did not look great on the final drive. My dude, Josh Jacobs. Uh, Get his Eli on right now. Speaking of Alabama. Let's go to Friday Feelings. It is time to get into the memes. Barry teased his. I know he's excited, but Dave, you're always first. So Tay put me on blast. I was going to save it for this segment because I'm sorry. I know it's Cowboys Vikings. It's a big game, but all of my focus there. is on something completely different. If we could show the T-Rex kid. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know this man? I don't know this man, but he exemplifies me because I'm spazzing out. Why I'm is excited he doing this? because he was so freaking swept excited up. and swept up in the moment that he didn't know what else to do, and that's he how I feel. I don't know what else to do. At a football game. I don't know. I mean, that's pretty normal for the SEC. But my man was T Rexing. I'm T Rexing. I need the Tigers to win. I'm terrified. Can we get I a gift it. of I'm you upset. doing that? Yes. If the Cowboys win in the press we'll box do it after. Right now. If the oh my god! <laughs> One shot camera. Here we go. Okay, Taylor, your Friday feeling. <laughs> Well, you brought it up, Lens. The black cat has dominated this week, and it's dominating my Friday feeling. And I like the little sew with the nail file, because do we know yet if this is still good luck for the Cowboys, <laughs> or is it bad luck for the Cowboys? That will be determined on Sunday Night Football, so that's why I'm not all bought in yet. You did see Kerry Lofton's amazing Be Like Dave earlier in the show. The cat's here. How much would we pay for the cat to come back on Sunday night? Like, how much would you personally pay? Just a little heads up, the cat might make an appearance on Sunday in some way 
Or uh, Halloween. Okay. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. it's a nice uh -oh. teaser. Stir it up. Stay tuned to Let's the Twitter at the beginning of the game. Go. Oh, hot. Okay. Let's go. Barry, what do you have for us? Um, my meme is uh, just pure domination. I feel mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Dak and the boys, they play well on prime time. Um, a lot of people are saying this game might Obi. be close. I think it'll be a blowout. I think it'll be close early. That's but in the, in the second half, I think Dak and the boys run away with it. They, I think they're going to run away with it. 10 D, Barry. 27 10. Okay. Show me my meme because because it's been 24 hours and I'm not, there we oh! go. It's so good. It's fitting. This is the mood I want to see. You remember about a year ago when the Cowboys did this and they just like won by a million? That's yes. what remember I want. We were doing it, so if the Cowboys win, you do a gif of that, Dave will do a gif of the T-Rex, it will be epic. Let's steal a stat real quick from our buddy Mark Lane. Please do. Jason Garrett is 40 and 38 against playoff winning head coaches. So head coaches that have won a playoff game. 22 and 15 at home. 22 Ooh. and 15 at home. You know what's so funny about every Jason Garrett status? <laughs> no, like, like that's a out. good number. That's a winning record. Yeah, it is. That is true. Yeah. It is a good number, but it is hanging out kind of in the middle. I mean, um, welcome yeah. to the NFL. Welcome yeah, to the all right. I was trying to make y'all feel Let's better. Do Boldies make me feel better with your boldies. Yeah, that's right. the point. I'm gonna step up for my guy Xavier Woods. That's what I'm gonna do okay. here. Seven that's takeaways. That's not bold. He's dominating. To get an interception <laughs> in the third straight game would be bold. That would be bold. That would be bold. Is that what it would be a hat that trick would, for him? Barry, does Kirk Cousins like to throw him up? He loves it. He okay. likes to throw him up. Okay. Xavier Woods, seven takeaways in the last two games. The pass rush has been better. That's mm -hmm. a big part of it. Mm -hmm. Get in his face. He doesn't deal well with pressure because he's not clutch. I already mm -hmm. said that. Yeah. Xavier Woods with another pick. Do it. I All love righty. that. I Make love that. So He's on a roll right now. Yeah. He, are you ready for I'm this ready. one? I'm ready. I'm here for there it. will be a familiar face on the other sidelines of this game, and that is Dan Bailey, the kicker that was here, historic kicker for the Dallas Cowboys. But this game is won by one Brett Maher. He beat out Dan Bailey for the job, and now he will beat him in this game. We will see it. He had two game winners last season against the Lions in Atlanta. This is what I see for Sunday. It just feels right. It feels like Dan Bailey, unfortunately, has to watch it on the sidelines. Okay. Something he wasn't able to do for this team. But yes. That would be quite a that would be that would be dramatic. Be quite a narrative. Mm -hmm. Are you here for it? I'm very would the here fans for it. finally accept Maher if he beats Dan Bailey, or would they still no. be okay? No. Just want to be sure. He has to make every kick for the rest of his life before the fans. Just does he have these? Yeah. <laughs> BC, what's your boldy? Uh, my boldy is uh, once again pure domination, but this time on the defensive side of the ball. Barry, um, say it yes. with your chest. Say bro. it with your chest. I mean, I feel like they're gonna do everything they can to get the ball into 33's hands, Cook. But I feel like Demarcus Lawrence, vintage Lee, Van yeah. If he plays and the boys will limit my guy to only 75 total yards. That's rushing and receiving. Wow. I'm telling you, I'm going out on a limb. 75 total. For you know what I like that is because we talked about him yesterday and the Chiefs held him to 71. And I think this defense is way better oh, than the sure. Chiefs. So sure. I think your boldy might be the first one to Let's come true. It's a really Let's good point. It. I'm going through with the uh, running back on the other side. Ezekiel Elliott, you are my boldy this week. You're going to get the winning touchdown because Dalvin Cook is the number one rusher in the league and Zeke is seventh. Very Seven. surprising. It's very not Zeke-like. And he came out this week and said, you know what? I'm not the best uh, rusher in the league right now. And I think the last two weeks, Barry has said it, we have mm -hmm. seen a very angry Ezekiel Elliott. I think here's the motivation. You're going against the league's best. So game winner. Still, I think I you brought this up earlier this week that he said he wasn't that sore this week, yep. that they didn't hit him that much in New York. <laughs> so he's ready to Fresh. make Lindsay's bowl day and ready. That's a little savage. It's like I didn't really get tackled, so I feel good. <laughs> so we feel good about this game? Overall, I, honestly, I oddly feel better about this than the last two division games. Isn't that weird? That is kind of weird. Yeah, especially the Giants. I mean, against the, the best defense that you Jason Witten said Cowboys, they played this year. The Cowboys rise to the occasion. They I do. Yeah. When they things get level. weird, the Cowboys yeah. get weirder. All right. Let's God, do I'm, this. What did, what, what, what did Taylor just tease for us? Like, is the cat coming out at this game? That'd be interesting. Is that why MetLife can't find him? Mm. I'll tell you after, and then we'll tell everyone on So tomorrow. we're going to talk about it on Monday morning. Yes. Oh, sure. uh, right back here. Nine. Actually, no. 10.30. Thank you. It's Thank a you, night producers. game. We need Dave 12 more minutes of sleep. Appreciate you. 10.30 here on Monday morning. <laughs> we'll see you then.